Hello tubers, is she a crazy British bloke here? Well, I'm on my way to Zubix, eh? Oh, oh dear, it's all going a bit foggy. Must be, oh yeah, thunder, damp out here. I'm on my way to Zubix, uh, get rid of this car, see what I get for it. And uh, we've got garbage, look, lots and lots of garbage. It's garbage day, and not only have we got garbage there, we've got garbage over here. Look, a ton of it. Anyhow, I'm gonna go and move my truck before they decide to pick it up. So let's get going. Right then, tubers, I just got on and uh, got myself a cup of coffee from Timmy's, and uh, I was looking at the uh, comments yesterday on the Buick video. Your lease is expired. Well, that's just a spoof thing that we got going on down there. It's quite good fun. Got a lot of people having a laugh. Um, now you're all saying, why'd you smash that Buick up? Well. It's been down there for two years, if you go back and you look at some of my videos. Um, I didn't pay hardly any money for it. Uh, I got it there for the missus to drive around. She had a good time in it last year. Um, and then I let it out to a few people to have fun in. Uh, it got really wrecked. If you watched the video yesterday, it hardly goes up the hill. The engine's absolutely shot. It had the oil pan knocked off it and repaired. Oil fell out, doesn't do an engine any good. Same with the transmission. The thing was absolutely knackered. It was losing fluid from everywhere. It had to keep filling out of everything. The power steering had gone. Now you drive a big Buick like that around with no power steering, not much fun. Tranny was absolutely goosed. I think it only had the, like the first and maybe the second in it going. Um, so we decided to kill it, you know. That's it, scrap's gone up. Plenty more cars coming down now. If you look at my videos, you can see all the new ones I've got there. You know, they're gonna be used next. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna get on my day, take this uh, piece of garbage, you can see it on the back, in the Zubix to see what I get, and I'll let you know. Just come out of Zubix. Uh, got that old Buick on the scales. It was 2,900 pounds. Uh, Scrap's going up a little bit. Not a lot though, not a lot. It's $165 a tonne, which is not very good. It was running last year at 200 a tonne. Dropped down to 110, so at least it's gone up a bit more. So I scooped $239, so 240 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyhow, let's get on the rest of this day. We're gonna go and drop the trailer off now. And I think I'll go and, go and get some cheap gas and get some more smokes. So, uh, I don't know, let's get out of here. Well, I keep seeing this van about. I have no idea what it's all about. I really don't. Say no to those. I don't know. Look at it all. It's got a bike on the back of it. It's just covered in flags. I keep seeing it everywhere. Weird one, eh? Wonder if there's a law about that. Don't know. Don't know if there's a law about it. You know, you know, dri driving around with all that all over it. I bet you if I uh, if I tried that little stump with a load of flags all over this, I'd get pulled up all the time. Who knows, eh? Anyhow, I'm gonna go around and see my buddy now, Jay, who's uh, thought I'd pop in and see him. He's got. I know he has Monday off, so I thought I'd go and see him and. Uh, See what he's up to. Maybe we'll uh, do a bit of filming there, but that's where my boat is. So I'm going to go around there first. And then uh, we're going to go out to the reserve. Well, I think I've got my days mixed up. It's actually Tuesday, isn't it? Well, usually my buddy Jay has Monday off because he's a mechanic. And uh, yeah, I suppose because he had the long weekend, he's not here. But that's my boat. Yeah, well, it's mine and Jay's. It's a Sylvan. It's got a 50 Mercury on the back of it. Very nice fishing boat, but uh, no, I've not been uh, not been out this year. Been too busy with the cars and that. Anyhow, let's get. Uh, I think we'll go back and uh, pick the missus up, and then we're both going to go out to the reserve. I think. Well, there's my boat. Anyhow. Well, drop the trailer off at Joe's. Had a nice little chat with Joe. He's uh, busy as ever. His kids have gone back, but um, he's off this week, so I'm going to go and meet up with him and go down and have a look at his boat, and I'm going to film inside it as well. I've not been inside it. He said we might go out for a little toot in it, but I don't know. Depends what the weather's like. Uh, what else did I do? 
got my gas, got the cheap gas, got my ciggies, and I put the L reserve. Now, when Adam was down uh, for the week, we were talking about mobile phones, and I was telling him about the mobile phone company that I used to be with in England uh, called Orange. Now, any of you guys out there in England, does Orange still exist? Is it one of the cheapest phone companies there for mobiles? Because when I was there, it was. And Orange to Orange used to be free. And it was, I forget what it was, I think it was 25 pounds or something. I used to pay a month and it was like unlimited Orange to Orange and anywhere in England. And also you had like a plan of uh, so many minutes to people that weren't on Orange. But I don't know, you know, I'd like to find out. So leave a comment on that one, it'd be great. Um, I've got the old trouble and strife set with me. We're just going to go out and get some food because old Adam is out of house and home, yeah? <laughs> no, he didn't really. But we're going to go do food shopping. There's not a lot in the house, so we're going to go and do that and uh, see what else we get up to. Right, I'm home now. Um, when Adam was over here, we were looking at my old camera. I don't know if you'll remember my old camera I used to use. Uh, let me show you this. There, there's my old Sony camera. That was a, that's what it is. That was a great, great little camera that was. But what happened to it was this window that opens here. I think actually it's the same thing that's going on with Rick's camera. This window that opens here, there's actually a little cord in between here that goes in. Now, Adam said to me that after a lot of usage there's a little thing in there that clips it clips in on a little clip in bar thing and uh that it sort of wears itself loose so i've gone out and bought myself a set of these screwdrivers look you can see them little fine tip ones so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and take this thing to bits and fix it like adam said so i don't know and if i can get it to to work it's, it'd be a good another good little camera to put in my pocket in that just doing some vlogs on that so yeah let me see if I can rip this thing apart and see what we find who knows hey eh? well I took it all to pieces and I don't know I couldn't see anything that was loose or anything Adam on that on that ribbon thing in there uh, I don't know if any of the other tubers out there have had this sort of problem but uh, there's the camera that's what it is uh, don't know, don't know. Maybe I fixed it, maybe it was a bit loose. I don't know if anyone's had one of these. And their screen, you know, my screen, I'd open it and I'd have to wiggle it around and it would start working. But it looks fine to me. So, that's about it today. So, I will talk to you tomorrow.